How's it going, my beautiful people? How are we doing? Very good. Here, Miss Akira was asking me for a tutorial because her PC broke down. That's right, it broke down. However, to anticipate that kind of issue, we are going to create a special partition for the recovery of your Windows. It doesn't matter if it's Windows 11, Windows 10, or future Windows versions. That, of course, we will also see here on the channel. All this and more coming up next. Hey, let's absolutely definitely go, Akira. You are so incredibly, really, truly fun. I'm so late. You can whine. I drink straight. Don't waste up to my place. What? Very well. For that, my dear friends, you need to have downloaded a Windows 11 ISO or the Windows version you are going to recover, right? Also, be aware it can be de directly downloaded from the official Microsoft page or a customized version from one of your thus preferred content creators. In my case, I'm going to use the one I have here of Windows 11 Beatrice H2 from Team Buho, which you can also find uh, in the description of this video in our Discord group, or you can ask in the WhatsApp group. All right, what's I'm you? For this, we are going to do the following. I'm going to open what is, oh yes, my uh, disk. Well, my disk drive. I have clicked on the start button, manage disks, okay? And in here, as you can see, I uh, to see uh, I have I had those two uh, drives. I have the main one, which is local disk C, uh, and the one for and data. Got it? Now I'm going to tell you what happens with this partition. What we are going to do uh, is mandatory, or rather, it's a good practice to have two disks. For what reason? Because uh, one will be the backup. If you put it inside the local disk C and we partition, the day that hard drive gets damaged, corrupted, or simply made it becomes unusable. Well, it goes with your recovery. That's why all backups, the recommendation is to have them on another independent disk, another hard drive, another SD, another M2, however it may be, but always independently, whether internal or external. Very well. Having said this, let's continue with the tutorial. Let's close it. I'm going to go to my file explorer directly. And here, as you can see, we have local disk C. I'm going to right click and rename it. Okay, let's change the name. Here I'm going to name it Windows 11 Pro, all right? This pop-up window will appear. We click continue, make nothing happens, uh, and perfect. Now, is the, this ISO that you have already downloaded from the official Microsoft website, you need to boot it. Using a medium, it can be with Ventoy, it can be with Rufus, or from the media creation tools. If you don't know how to boot the ISO, I'm going to leave another video tutorial down here in the video description on how to create a bootable medium, preferably with Ventoy, okay? Well, once you've done that, okay, you are a, going to transfer, obviously, all the files, in this case, the ISO, to the data partition or the external or internal disk you have so that it doesn't create what we are going to carry. We are going to make an image capture. So if, um, no, if we want to lighten it as much as possible. Very well. There it is. We have it now, right? Very well. I'm going to leave it here. I'm practically going to leave it like this. And I'm assuming that you have already created that bootable unit of your Windows, okay? I'm going to connect my USB, okay? And here I have it. Did you see it? Very well. I'm going uh, to restart my computer. Once our computer restarts, this window will appear. Obviously, you must have arranged your uh, uh, boot devices to start from your uh, USB or from your D uh, DVD drive, okay? This obviously varies in each BIOS. Normally, by pressing F12, you select your USB, and then it will allow you to enter uh, this installation. Very well. I'm going to press Shift plus F10, uh, okay? And the command prompt will appear. All of this that we are going to do is going to be something a little bit, well, uh, for all of us, yes, very, very, very in line with reality, okay? And why am I going to say in line with reality? Because it's what all the technicians who are dedicated to technical support do. So we are going to enter the CA, the command this part. We are going to press enter. And once we enter this part, we are going to tell it to list the volumes we have in there or list the partitions, okay? We type list, vol, press enter, and perfect. Here we have different ones. We have what is C, which is with Windows 11, and we have D, which is for data. Agreed? Very well. Once that parameter is located, 
we are going to give it a, an exit, all right? There we are exiting directly from this part. And it puts us directly in the directory, in the directory, in the root directory where we were. Sorry if I get tongue-tied. Very well, mm, so we are already there. What are we going to do? We are going to say to take an image capture of how the state of our system is right now, of our main disk C. How do we achieve that? We are going to write there within the sources part, the word dims, okay? Space. We are going to give it the slash or the diagonal. Then we are going to put the word capture, right? Or capture, uh, uh huh, dash image or of image, okay? Space slash, we are going to put image file again, right? Colon D. And why am I putting D here? Because I am saying that it should directly focus on where it will capture the image in the data partition, which is my volume four and is assigned to the letter D. If in your case, your partition where you want to perform this recovery method or image capture, assign it the letter that corresponds to it. In my case, it's D. And that's how I'm going to set it up. Very well. We are going to put a colon and then an inverted slash or backslash with Alt 92. Okay. And from there, we will put we'll install WIM. Note, I'm telling it to capture the install.wim directly from my main root disk. So this is very important. Space. We are going to put another uh, slash to capture, right? Capture from the directory, right? There we are specifying the directory colon C or colon or alt 92 for the backslash, the space slash and assign it. No, the name we will put a uh, name colon E and in quotes, we will put recovery. OK, ready? And we are going to give it obviously another slash again, right? A slash and compress that recovery partition to its fullest extent. There. OK, for this, we are going to use the compress command, right? Colon, and we will put the word maxi moon, OK? Just as we have it here so that everything turns out perfectly for you. See, I have an error here. If you've noticed, right? In the image part, I put a seven. I made a mistake. It's here, slash, OK? I didn't press the shift key properly. And now with all this, we are going to press enter. Once it finishes, it says the operation has completed successfully. We are going to give it an exit. OK, we press enter and restart the computer. Very well. We close uh, say yes and wait. Very well. Now we have completed the first stage. Second stage. Let's go here to what is our disk. Well, our start button, right click. Let's go to the disk manager. And now we are going to prepare the following. OK, super simple. Here where it says my data partition, I'm going to right click and we are going to shrink the volume for which I will partition this disk, assigning it a recovery partition. So pay very, very close attention here. OK, a lot of attention. We need to create a partition equivalent to what was done with our install point win plus what has not yet been implemented. If I go here to the file explorer, I go to the data section and here where my install point win is, it has a size. I'm going to right click on properties. It has a size of 7.5 gigabytes. I couldn't set it to practically mm, eight gigabytes right now because the recovery would be very limited. So let's give it a little more. It could be a partition equivalent to 10 gigabytes or preferably double what we have. In this case, I'm going to set it to 16, right? Better to have more than to be limited. So Jesse Quesivo, it's in the 14,000 megabytes, which is a, a 14 gigabytes. A, you can click a on the a shrink. It's done. You can right click a Yoannis new simple volume. And within simple volume, we click next, next, next. And we're going to name it recovery just as it is recovery or recuperation, right? Next. And we finish. That's it. Perfect. Up to this point, we have finished the second stage. 
And for the third stage to finish with a flourish, guys, we're going to close. Let's go to File Explorer. And here on Po, our USB, where our bootable media was created or your reader drive, you're going to right click and select open. We're going to select everything completely. Control C or right click copy. And we're going to move it to the recovery partition. Okay, right click, paste. Once I finish copying all the files, we will go to sources este, and check uh, for a file named install.wim. Here it is, the one we have here. We are going to delete, okay? We will, okay, right click, delete yes, and we will replace it with the one we have in data, control X and paste it here on this side. Perfect, it's done. Very well, friends. What are we going to do? Very simple. We close again, close. And I will leave you down here um, uh, in the video description, this, well, link that will be in the Discord group, okay? With a series of commands, okay? That we will have to execute, all right? I will click here on file. Uh, I will click uh, on save as, all right? You will leave it exactly as it says recovery, but you uh, you will uh, tell it to save with the extension or .txt, otherwise as uh, .demo .bar, all right? Agreed, dot bar. We click on save. There it is. We close. We are going to execute right click with administrator privileges. The pop-up window will appear. We say yes. And here it tells us which partition letter contains the recovery so that it can be anchored and be in the middle part of the boot. Very well. I am going to go here to the Explorer. And in this case, it is the letter F, which I have to assign practically to this drive, all right? The F. I am going to press F him mm, and enter. Perfect, I made the entry. It has been created correctly without any conflict. We press here, oh, enter. Now, let's see if it's true, Victor. If I did everything right, if I, if I followed everything to the letter, as we showed in the video, we already have that partition where it will return us to this version. So if I delete these two things from here right now, right? I am going to empty the recycle bin. I am going to say yes. When I recover my computer right now, those two files uh, should appear uh, on the desktop, right? For this, well, so you can see that we are not cheating. I am simply going to eject what is my USB. There it is. We no longer have it. I am going to, in this case, give uh, what is now close and restart. Okay, we restart. And look how beautiful, guys. We now have an option called recovery in our system startup. Huh? And let's hit enter there. There it is. And with the supervision of director Kira here. Yes, right, pretty one. We now have the ability to install. Of course, go over there. Okay, supervision at work, guys. If not, they don't pay. Very well. Let's select here. Spanish from Mexico. Next, install now. I don't have a product key, we accept. Next, advanced, uh, and I'm going to delete, yes, the one that says Windows 11 Pro, okay? I'm going to delete it completely. We accept, uh, and that's it. We choose again and click next. Then we wait patiently for the process to complete, observing each step carefully and noting any changes that occur. And even when you're close to me, I feel like you're gone, as if there's an invisible barrier between us, making it hard to connect on a deeper level, creating a sense of distance. And voila, guys, here we finally have the recovery, just as we set it up, exactly as planned and anticipated, with every detail meticulously planned and executed to perfection, ensuring everything is in its rightful place. Congratulations, girl, congratulations. We did it, Kirita. We did it, huh? We did it, of course we did, huh? Well, friends, with this, we say goodbye. I hope it is of great help and very useful to you. Remember, please, to join us on our social media, subscribe, give a like, and above all, you know the most important thing, learn and share knowledge. Also, please, I invite you to join our Discord, if was and WhatsApp group, paid you okay? So that you stay well informed. Until next time. Thank you.